Hello! <laughs> Welcome to King Worldwide. My name Hello. is Lisa. This is my dad, Roy. It sounds like we're going... Oh, Hello! Oh. Okay, today's topic is Believe in the Promise. And we're going to start off a little differently today, is that we're going to start off with a few scriptures. And here's the first one. Okay, 2 Peter 1, 4. And, and I'm reading And, and here, here's the focus, it's just like the title said, Believe in the Promise. So... We're talking about God's promises. So that's what you want to focus on. And all these today are from the New Living Translation. Second Peter 1, 4. And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. What, what was that again as far as... Oh, Second uh, Peter 1, 4? No, that's it. I, <laughs> no, I'm saying it for, for me... By these exceeding great and precious promises, one becomes part of God's nature. And, oh, yeah, that's another translation. Uh, partaker. Partaker. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. But it's the promise. The promise comes from right. God, and we become part of his nature by doing it. The second one is uh, Mark 10, 30, <clears throat> and it says, "Any this is one, one of my favorites. Anyone that gives for Jesus' sake and spread the gospel. Now, listen to this next part shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Now, mm -hmm. not late, not in heaven. Now, anyone that gives, anyone that sows seed for Jesus and the gospel shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Yes. Here's a third one. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. It says, let me not cover it, but Christ has re rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised to Abraham, so that we who are believers might receive the promised Holy Spirit through faith. So we are redeemed. The promise is we're redeemed from the from curse. The curse, the curse and, is everything negative. And you can look at Deuteronomy, what? What chapter? In Deuteronomy? Oh, 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 28, 28. and it's 15. 15 through 68, yeah. 64, one of the two. Yeah, 15 to wherever. And, uh, That's okay. all the curses, plus, plus, plus. Every one of us should be pregnant with a promise. That is carrying something that God has chosen us to deliver to the world on his behalf. Mm -hmm. For the Virgin Mary, it was the mm -hmm. promise of the Messiah. Again, we're focusing on the promise. Here's the verse. Luke 1, verses 30 through 32. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. How she responded is the way that we're supposed to respond, and that is she didn't question it. She didn't ask about it. She didn't, she just did it. That's right. That is the perfect example of faith. And then is that, that when we hear the promise or receive the promise, we just act on it. And here's why. Because we have faith in what Jesus has done or what God has done. So that's 34. You want to read the 34, 37, 38? Not yet. Mary, uh -huh. Mary didn't abort the promise because mm -hmm. she didn't understand the process. She didn't say, yeah. ooh. I don't what, understand, so I'm yeah. not going to do it. And she didn't abort it so because she didn't understand it. So here's the next verse. So it's really Luke 1, and I'm going to read the verses 34, 37, 38, just mm -hmm. for brevity. 34, Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I'm a virgin. For nothing is impossible with God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Okay. And that's what I would like to say. I'm yours to command. Whatever you want, I'm doing. Your promise, it can be anything. Your promise might be, hey, a cure of cancer, cure for cancer. Your promise might be a solution of gun violence. Your promise that, that you've received is that you've got a global company bigger than Amazon, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. When you're connected with God and fellowship with God and you hear from the Holy Spirit and then you just receive it with no doubt. Okay. So, but whatever God has shown you, conceived it in your heart as a seed and trust the process. Here's a verse. 
Mark 4, 26 through 27. That would probably help if you said that verse since I'm reading Oh, then get me going, okay. but that's okay. Oh, I got you, it. I thought you had it on a piece of paper. I have a oh, tad. I, was, I wasn't paying attention anyway, to your little hieroglyphics there. <laughs> it's not your response, but it's fine. Okay, uh, Mark 4. I'm not your verses, caretaker. I know. 4, 26, 27. Jesus also said, The kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. I love that. He does not understand yeah, you don't have how to know. it happens. You don't have to. All right. We don't instantaneously ascend to the top of a ladder. We go up the ladder one rung at a time. I believe that God has given every mature of a believer a vision so big that we have to persistently believe the unbelievable, receive the impossible. Okay, Brother Jesse. Why? Because it's doable. When, when I was coming with the outline, that's what came up my mind right so on the spot true. right there. And I said, hmm. I'm going to use that. That's right. So uh, God can only do what we have. Listen, God can only do what we have the faith to believe. Now, in, let's say, where is it? Uh, Romans 12, 3, I think it is. It says that God has given us the measure of faith. Oh, good. The measure of faith, okay? Not a measure, the measure. The same measure of faith that Jesus had. When he was, he was on the earth. So the point being of that is that if we will just like Humpty Dumpty take what God says, and I'm speaking to me more than anybody, take I what God it. says and not even think about it, but just believe it and do it if we're supposed to do yeah, so. Yeah, and we can't do that if our, we're contaminated with the world. Right. There's no way. Because right. we're thinking the way the world thinks. It can be We can be on our job. Because we've done that, and you can still be transformed by the renewal of your mind. You just think differently. And um, otherwise, we won't think like God if we let all the news and all the stuff control us, right? Yeah. All right, here's the verse. Mark, 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 Mark 9, 9, 23. 23. Oh, you got that one. But what do you mean, if I can? Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. If thou canst believe... If I will believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Okay, so it's really not now, hard. Well, I the, mean, the hard the hard part is the being in the excuse mm -hmm. me being in the world mm -hmm. and having the influence on the world, the association with people, people around news, social media, social media, and all that. We let that dominate or override what the word says. Yeah, and that's and why it happens. And it happens to all of us. That's why most kids have. They believe in anything because they're not contaminated. And that's a really good thing. Most particularly young people. Yeah, okay. that's what I mean, young kids. All right, understand that we will not bring our dream to pass in our strength, Ugh. but it'll be in his strength. And here's the verse for that. I never knew this. Well, you, Thank know, you, you, so know, much. you know it now. First Samuel 2, chapter 2, verse 9, but we're just doing the second part. No yeah, one, we call it B. We call it B. No one will succeed by strength alone. So God is saying he'll protect his faithful ones. The wicked will disappear in darkness and no one will succeed by strength alone. Correct. We don't do any of this on our own. Correct. Now, lastly, when we trust the process, what's the process? God. Here is God's word and believe in it and moving forth with that, with that belief without any doubt or unbelief. Easier said than done. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but that's our goal. That's our target. So when we trust the process, God will lead us in a direction, catch this, that will guarantee mm -hmm. a return. It's like we mentioned in uh, Mark 10.30, anyone, anyone that gives, mm -hmm. let's see, sows money, seed, seed offered. Anyone that gives for Jesus' sake and spreading the gospel shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, now on this earth. It's the same as if you give time or your life for others. Right. It's just obedience, it's sowing seed. So, obedience to what God wants you to do. So it's guaranteed to return. What we need to do in the last last point here, we just need to kind of hold on to the promise. Mm. And if any doubt or anything else comes in, we need to cast it off and keep believing because God's word is true. So good. Okay. Okay. See Have you a soon. great day. Bye.